Hey guys, it's Sophie and as you can tell from the title below, I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a week this week. During this quarantine, I've really been enjoying being able to take advantage of being able to cook my own food more and just try new foods and recipes. I really enjoy cooking and food, so I've been really enjoying this time where I can focus more on cooking and what I'm eating. Generally, I would say I eat pretty healthy. I try to be conscientious and make healthy choices when I can, but with that being said, I do not restrict myself from eating foods that would be not as healthy. For me, that's usually a baked good or some kind of savory crunchy snack or ice cream. I just eat them in moderation and it's all about balance, so that's kind of how I would describe my eating habits. So with all that being said, it's breakfast time and I'm hungry, so let's get started. So one thing that I try to do every morning before I start eating is drink some water. I usually have this with me upstairs uh, by my bed anyway, so in the morning I'll just like chug whatever's left. So for breakfast, I've been really into making egg scrambles with different veggies. Usually I do red peppers and onions and sometimes spinach and red tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. Something that I found very useful is just meal prepping some um, diced onions and peppers so that in the morning it's so easy to put them in my breakfast because I personally hate cutting onions and peppers so I like having a bunch of them and then it's easier for me to throw them in and actually have them for breakfast in the morning. I hope you can hear me over the veggies cooking but I've also been trying to eat more fruit so when I'm making breakfast I usually start munching on something that we have. Right now we have pineapple so that's what I'll be eating. I know you just saw me assemble the breakfast bowl. I thought I would just quickly say what I put in it. I have the eggs with the onions and peppers, and then I put avocado on the top, and then I put pepper and knock off everything but the bagel seasoning because I ran out of the real one. And then I just made a Morning Star breakfast veggie sausage that I put on the side, and I usually will just like mix it up into it as well. So that is the breakfast. Hi guys, so it's almost 1.30. I just worked out and I'm about to make lunch. Depending on what time I work out during the day, I kind of change my lunch accordingly because if I work out right before lunch, I like to have lunch with a lot of protein. So today I'm gonna be making a smoothie. In my smoothies, I do fruit, obviously. Right now we have some frozen strawberries that we froze that were gonna go bad, so we have those. I also use some like pre-frozen fruit packages. So this one is a pineapple, strawberry, mango, peaches one. And since I already have strawberries in the smoothie, I'm gonna try to pick out the other things. And then I do a kind of milk. I'm doing oat milk. And then protein powder. This is just the one that my mom always buys, so use it. This one is empty. And so that's everything I put in the smoothie. What I've been enjoying having with my smoothies are a rice cake with some peanut butter for some more protein. I've been really enjoying trying out doing rice cakes instead of doing bread for a little while. This is brown rice cakes. I just started blending and I completely forgot. I usually put some spinach in my smoothies because you literally can't taste it at all and it's a good way to have vegetables. Here is the final lunch. So it's almost 6.30 and my mom and I are making dinner. I made some buffalo cauliflower. This is the first time ever trying this but I've been really into cauliflower rice which you'll see later in this week so i wanted to give that a try and then we both made individual pizzas on non bread that's my mom's and this is mine i did mozzarella cherry tomatoes bell peppers and spinach 
and put some basil on top. So we're gonna put those in the oven now and I'll show you what it looks like after. The buffalo cauliflower just finished. It was a little longer than the pizza, so we ate the pizza and then we're gonna have this. Looks really good and we're gonna let it cool for a little bit and then we'll try it. Okay, we're gonna try the cauliflower. Really good. Really good. I really like them. Good morning, guys. I'm about to make breakfast. It is 8.30 this morning. I have a summer class at 9, so I'm just gonna make something really quick. Last night, I forgot to vlog. I had a few chocolate chips as like a little sweet treat dessert thing last night. Uh, so I had that. I forgot to vlog that, but I thought I would tell you guys. So I'm gonna start breakfast, and I'll show you when it's done. Here is the finished breakfast. Yum. So it's about 12.30 right now. I just got done with all my online summer class stuff and I'm gonna make lunch. I'm going to do a cauliflower rice stir fry. Like I said yesterday at dinner, I've been really into doing cauliflower rice and things. So we just got some new rice from the supermarket today. And what I like to put in it is veggies. I'm gonna do onions and zucchini today. And then I'm gonna put some of the cauliflower I made last night on top of it as well. And then some protein, I'm going to be doing tempeh. I've also been really enjoying using tempeh in some of my recipes. I never really used to like it, but in college they use it a lot in recipes for the vegetarian options, so I kind of got into it. And so I'm gonna do some tempeh. And as some flavoring, I'm gonna put some liquid aminos as well as like salt and pepper and I think paprika. This is really good. I highly suggest this. Even if you don't want to do the cauliflower rice, just normal stir fries in general are so easy. You just throw in whatever vegetables you like and a protein and you're done. It's so great. I made extras too, so I'll have leftovers. So it's 4.30 right now. I just worked out and took a body shower and I don't think we're gonna start dinner for another hour or so. So I'm gonna have a quick little snack. I'm gonna have some cashews. I've been really into cashews lately. And I think I'm gonna have a few of these hippies puffs i just got these today in the our supermarket delivery so i tried a few earlier i didn't show you because i just wanted to try them when we got them and they're pretty good so i'm gonna have a few of these and cashews so it is 6 30 now we are making dinner we're doing one of our go-to's which is just chopping up a bunch of veggies whichever ones we have and then a protein when it's nice out we'll do the grill like i'm gonna show you in a minute um, but if not, we just like roast them. And tonight we're doing burgers. We're doing the Beyond Burgers. My mom sometimes will do turkey burgers or we'll do like, I'll do like the Morning Star Chicken or something like that. But tonight we're doing burgers and I was just gonna show you quickly what it looks like. It's going a little crazy in here, I heard. Oh, looks very good. Okay, little random, but post dinner snack, I'm having some rice crackers and some goat cheese i used to love goat cheese as a kid um so i'm just having this tonight i don't know i'm just, just kind of in the mood <laughs> hi guys it's the next morning i'm making breakfast i opted for something kind of simple i'm just making some avocado on a rice cake and then i'm gonna put an egg on top and some pineapple on the side Hi guys, it's about 1.30. I just finished working out and I'm gonna make another smoothie for lunch. It's gonna be the exact same as the one I made Monday, except I'm gonna use this um, frozen fruit bag medley instead of the like mango pineapple one. It's a little later. I took a shower because I felt really gross and sweaty. And now my mom and I are going to get some coffees and a pastry from a local bakery. For people who don't know me, that probably doesn't seem weird, but for people who do know me, I I haven't really liked coffee up until a few weeks ago. I started to sort of acquire a taste for it. So I've kind of started to like it. I don't make it at home because I don't want it to be like a daily habit yet. So every few days, my mom and I will sometimes go out to a bakery and stuff and get coffee. I've been enjoying trying out the local coffee. So we got our goodies. I just got a cold brew with oat milk and a scone. They have a really good scone here that we've been liking getting. It's a maple nut scone. It's really good. It's weird. I knew I would start liking coffee at some point in my life, but I didn't think it would be so soon. Here's the scone. It's a little past six and my mom just made us dinner. She made one of our favorite pasta dishes. It's a pesto eggplant mm. pasta. I hate 
these baby hairs. Okay, hi guys. It is the next morning. I decided to try out working out first thing in the morning today, so I'm having breakfast a little later than usual. It's about 10.45. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to make, but I will show you when I'm done. So I ended up making a egg scramble with peppers, onions, and spinach, some avocado on the side, and some Morningstar bacon strips. So for lunch, I'm having this stir-fry leftovers from a meal that we made. I think it was Sunday night. It was one of our last HelloFresh meals um, that we had that we did for the subscription. We ended it. Um, it has like rice, kale, and like cabbage and stuff in it. You can like see it. Yeah, but it's really good. So it's almost six. I'm going to start dinner. My mom and I are going to try to do zucchini boats tonight. This is a recipe that we found out about from HelloFresh that even though we don't do the subscription anymore, we saved all like the recipe cards because we can easily get the ingredients ourselves and make the recipes. So we don't have all the exact same things, but we're gonna just try and see if it turns out okay. Here are the finished boats. They are pretty similar to the HelloFresh, but we didn't have all the same ingredients. So instead of like the rice and couscous they usually did, I did cauliflower rice and then just did like tomatoes and onions, which they had in some of their recipes, and it has a mozzarella on top. There's also tomato topping that we're gonna put on it, balsamic, and Parmesan cheese. It was good. Hi guys, it's Sophie. It's the next morning. It's the last day I'm gonna be showing you what I'm eating today. For breakfast, I opted for something pretty simple. I just have scrambled eggs, avocado, and a maple sausage, and then I'm gonna have some pineapple as well. Hi guys, it's a little past two. I just made lunch and I was gonna show you what I made. I'm having the leftovers from, I think, Tuesday, the cauliflower stir fry I made. And then I also just made some Morningstar, like popcorn chicken they call it, to put on top as well. So my mom and I are picking up takeout for dinner tonight. We usually do a takeout meal like one, there she is, <laughs> one or uh, two times over the weekend or sometimes over the week, we just didn't do it this week. Um, I'll show you what I get when we get home. So we ordered from our local town brewery. I get the same thing every time. I get the catfish bites appetizer and this salad. It's the crunchy Thai salad. Yummy. So I'm going to end the video now. I'm probably not going to have anything after dinner. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.